Hey everyone, Mark Joe Szymanski here with Find It Tech. Uh, I gotta make this quick and dirty video because I just found, well, I was able to do something pretty cool on the Find It Tech website, and I wanna make more videos like this where I kind of dissect and really like show the nitty gritty of the ways that I kind of build the things that I do on these different websites that we've, uh, all these different projects that we've done over the past few years here. And um, I was just inspired in this moment and I had a little bit of time, so we gotta take care of it. Um, to cut to it, what I'm gonna do in this video, kind of my style, is just show you exactly what I was trying to do, what I was trying to accomplish, um, and then just walk you through kind of the progression in my mind, the way that I um, figured it out, and you know, with the help of obviously the internet, because that's how we figure all problems out, and any sort of you know software or just website development in general. Um, if you are a web developer, specifically a WordPress web developer, and maybe the title or the description or something like that led you to this video, I hope it helps you, um, or you're able to take it and adapt, uh, you know, to it, it to a solution that you're that you need for yourself. Um, and if you're just somebody that, for some reason, if you're watching this, if you know me or you just know, like you're just interested in websites, but you're not a specific web developer, maybe uh, look at this and take this from the perspective of like maybe if it's like more of a business side that you're kind of thinking of or whatever, think of like ways that you could use a similar type of tactic or just like some sort of creative idea to display something on like a website, for instance. So I'm gonna show you the use case and then I'm gonna show you how I did it technically here. Um, and we'll just kind of go from there. Okay, so the where we're at here is findatech.com. Uh, I'll leave you know links in the description and everything like that. Uh, to all the things that I chat about here, uh, so you can try to find them as quickly as possible when you're doing something like this. But we're at findatech.com. This is the website for the web design business that I have. I was jumping around different things today. I decided I wanted to spruce up the specific uh, page, like the case studies or like the projects that we've worked on. So if you click on our work, um, you'll see all of the different you know websites that we've created. Um, you know, so I was you know just trying to clean up a, th a couple things here. When you click on one of these, where this is kind of where everything starts, when you click on one of these, it goes to a page that is really, it's a, a like a single, it's like a post. Uh, each one of these are custom post types, they're projects. Uh, we'll talk about that in a different video. We're talking about nitty gritty, um, uh, like custom post type stuff in this, in this video. But if you click any of these, it goes to uh, a singular project, okay? So this one is AM the PM. It's a podcast that me and Amanda have. We have a website for it, and this is like a new single that I'm trying to I'm trying to redesign. Like the the template, I'm using Elementor Pro. I probably should have said that. I'm using Elementor Pro and a, you know a bunch of other things, but like that's like the main. That's the page builder, and then also we're gonna layer in a couple other things here when I show you what I had to figure out. So I'm redesigning a template here. If you don't know about custom post types, or if you don't know about like single post templates in Elementor, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you educate yourself on that. I will try to make more content, and if you have any questions specifically about, you know, pertaining to that with me, I'd, I'd, I'd love the answer. I need to make more content about this because I enjoy it, and I'm, I'm relatively knowledgeable about how to do these different things. And on this page specifically, what I'm trying to do is I'll try to keep it relatively broad, and hopefully, if you're if you're more familiar, you can you can kind of just forgive me for being too broad. Each one of these things is like a, it's a template. This page is, a, is, for lack of a better term, it's a single, it's called, I call it a single post template. So it's a, a single project template in this case because the, the post in question is a project. So within you know the back end of Elementor, there's a picture for the project, there's a name for it, there's a URL for it, uh, there's some information about the project. We'll talk about this section specifically. This is what I'm um, this is what I'm getting to here. A very interesting combination of things that I had to do here. There's a you know a headshot for the clients. Uh, there's names of the clients. You know you get the idea. So um, in there. Like this is what I was exactly talking about. So this is edit the project. You can see the it has I created all of this using advanced custom fields. So it's a custom post type. So custom post type UI and then advanced custom fields. You're able to build all of this. Again, literally life changing when you just when you figure out how to do this. But if you do know how to do this, you're probably to this point, right? So you have all these different fields in here. You're trying to do cool stuff. There you go. Here is the here is a spin on this that what I was trying to do. And you could probably you're probably in a similar situation. I have a page called Learn. This is one of the things that I like to do 
obviously via like a channel like this, if I find cool things or cool plugins or the platform that we're using or you know tools or anything like that, I wanna put them here so other people can benefit from them and also so I just remember, you know, like I can get it out of my head and I can just, this can be like a gallery of like my favorite things or my most useful things that we use uh, to build websites. So I have, a, a st I started a list a long time ago um, and one of the ideas I had for back on these types of pages, our single project layouts, is I wanted to have a section that said, here's the website, you know, like here's the website that we built right you know all that little information but this section right here like integrations or features or whatever you know it doesn't matter but like how it was built so like what was the site built with and not just the platform but like everything uh that was key in doing it so um you can go as as far as you know shorter as far as you want to go with that like you know is how much you want to do but my idea here was if i'm already going to have i love as a quick aside i love to have everything like automated and not have to do things like multiple times like people that like copy and paste pages and have to change things different places like I hate all that so I want to make everything as templated as possible and as and as like um I don't know how to put it maybe like as 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 easy honestly that's that's one way to put it as easy as possible so I already have these things in this learn thing these um like Shopify WordPress advanced custom fields these in this case are I can kind of show you here are just another custom post type they are resources in this case. So they're called resources, they're all listed in here. And all I wanted to do simply, I guess, was I wanted to have a field inside the project. This field ended up being right here. And I wanted to be you know, built with in a sense. And I wanted to have a list of all of those things, of all of those, those things that are in there, those resources. And I wanted to just, just like this, like check them off or select them and say like, so I could be going down the list and I could have all those things like advanced custom fields, brackets, cloudways, all that. And I could just click just like this and I could, and it would select them. And that would be, um, it, it would just all know, like I wouldn't have to have a separate list. I wouldn't have to type it in. I wouldn't have to do any of that. And um, I'm showing you the solution here, but I, I need to tell you how I got there. Originally, if we go over to the field group, which is all of those, it's like how you build that form that we just saw, right? So we had the live URL, we had the domain name, um, we had that built with field. This is advanced custom fields that gives you this this uh, ability to build like your your uh, your post type fields out. And um, I had this built with field. And originally I started with post object. Now I'm sure you could still probably do it with post object, but I looked up and post object and relationship are very similar. So what I did was I just uh, ended up, or did I, I can't remember what I said there. A post object and relationship are very similar. So I ended up using relationship in the end. And I think it's gonna give me the same thing. A couple quick notes, um, and I'll reference these again, but I don't wanna forget. If you're gonna do this, you have to have a relationship the way I did it, at least, you have to have a relationship, and then you have to have like you would set your your uh, post type. So what this means is that all of those things in that little select box in the field are resource. Um, that's that's what it is in my case. You could do taxonomies and stuff like that. I don't really necessarily need to do that right now. And then th this is the big thing right here: post object or post ID. The way that I'm going to show you, you have to have this checked as post ID because it wants it to return as post ID. So. Let me give you the short version of what I tried to do and what did not work. And that was, I went in here and I, this is a post field right here. So this is, now we are in the, the uh, we are editing the single project layout. And what I'll do here is I didn't have this prepped. I will change this. This was a different project, but I'll change it so it's previewing AIM and the PM so everything is similar. What this is, is we're editing that single single project layout. So what we wanna do is, you you know, you're building that template. I don't know why it's being so slow. Come on, come on, okay, cool. So you are editing the template and then the information is gonna get filled into it, right? So in this section, the one thing question is, I built these little like loops and everything like that. I, I didn't even worry about that for, for this test. That That's just, that's a whole nother thing. If you wanna do like a custom loop within like a posts widget in Elementor, you can get Ellie uh, Elementor custom skin. It's a free plugin and you can change all that sort of stuff. Another life changing one, literally the amount of things you can do with that. We'll talk about that in a different one though. Go ahead and look it up. But specifically, you, could, you that's not necessary for this for this uh, for this concept. You just need the post widget in Elementor, 
And then when you're editing it, you go down to like your, your real thing here is you want to, we're talking about the query, right? Because that's a weird query because it doesn't give you the option. It says you can do resources here, but then I was like, I got to this point, okay? And I was like, here's what I want to do. I have a posts widget. I want to, I want to fill that post widget. I want to populate that post widget with resources. Like that's what's going to be in there. Like those things right there are resources. That's the the uh, you know the post type, the source in this case, right? As they have it labeled here. But there's no way for me to just say like include by you know the 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 field that's in the projects thing. You know, there's there, there's no way to 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 do that or to to um, you know, say like that, those are the ones that I want. So my initial thought, which I've done like one, one other time and in, in, in actually on this AM and the PM website is to do a query ID. Now, if you don't know anything about query IDs, um, you should just type in like query uh, or custom query filter in Elementor. It gives you basically no information. It's complete BS in my opinion from them because they don't, there's not a lot of information, um, or like really documentation that I've found through there. But a lot of other people obviously have done stuff like this. And I found a couple of good ones. I'll put these in there because maybe you need something like this, but I'm gonna show you a different way because I, I was, I, I'm just not as well versed with like, you know, actual coding. I can muck through it, but it's not like, it, unless it like basically tells me exactly what to do, we're, we're, we're pretty much screwed. So I tried to do this. I tried to do a uh, custom query uh, via a couple of these different ones. There was this one. And then this one, I thought I was pretty close. And this is the one that actually is a lot. That's crazy. I didn't realize this was called Lifesaver um, because it actually did. Uh, this was where I found the solution, which was interesting because I'll talk about it in a second. But anyway, okay, so you get to this point, though. We'll go back here for a second. You get to this point, and you could do a query. You could do a custom query. I'm sure you could do crazy shit to, to get the you know stuff to populate or to order and all that sort of stuff, uh, much more than you do via the UI. Tried to do it. Didn't work. If you want to continue to do that, go that way. But if you're looking for an alternative, um, I was over on this post and I saw that this guy, he, he put some code in there and then I saw this and he linked to this plugin called Advanced Post Queries. I have used this plugin on at least three sites before, but I totally forgot about it. And I, because it, because this is a weird way that I didn't really think it was going to, it was going to actually work. But this is a li absolute lifesaver plugin, completely free. If you don't, if you don't know about this, you need to know about it because it's extremely helpful. And I'm just going to show you here real quick. I'm not going to show you everything you can do, but um, it's very simple, and it just it pops right in here. Like you don't need to do anything extra. You just download it. You you activate it, and then this is the little extra UI it gives you here. So it says advanced query options. There's a couple different ones. Dynamic user. Again, I I've used this before where it's like only show certain posts like a, a situation where you want to show posts, but you only want to so show posts to somebody that is logged in or something like, like all sorts of different stuff. I actually used it on the client portal for this um, business, find a tech that I should, I need to make a video about that too. But back to this, what I, uh, I didn't know exactly how to do this, but I just, you know, mucked around with it and dynamic related posts. I selected that. And then down here I did post is in the current post custom field. So the way that I understand that is it it goes through the posts like like in this case, think of it as like you have your posts widget right. So this posts widget here, it is coming from the top down here. It's going to grab all of the resources, and it's going to the way that I think about it, it dumps all of the resources into like a into like a bin or into this into this widget. And all obviously it's done instantaneously, but it takes all of them. Like that's the first thing. Then it says once you add this piece in here, it says, is the post, like it's going through the post, like it's, it, let's say there's a hundred um, resources in this sense. It goes through each resource and it says, is this post, in this case, like is advanced custom fields in the current post custom field, current post meaning whichever one you're on in this sense. So in this, in this, in whichever project, because that's what we're dealing with here. So it's, is like, the, the, the actual thing would be, is advanced custom fields in AM and the PM's custom field, and then you define the custom field. And it, in my case, that custom field is called built with, which uh, if I could find the thing is right here, right? So that's what, that's what this is. And it's kind of confusing because 
you just you know you just got you got to know to use the actual field name here obviously but is it in that one right and then the only other little thing that you have to know is this last line down here where it says fields must return post id so i'm pretty sure if i turned this back like i said to post object it wouldn't work but um i hope most of that made sense and then ultimately this is your um you know your conclusion here you have you're able to just literally go in here and select these and it's awesome um, and obviously you can do this for so many other things this was just my specific use case but yeah i mean this is exactly what i wanted and i am very happy that i found that because I, I i can't believe i forgot about it and then found it again so hopefully that helped um i know there's a lot of different stuff there but um yeah i mean if you have any questions on that or anything similar I want to post more content specifically on this Find a Tech channel. I have a different channel that I post the business side of things and finance and um, you know just general other life things on. But this channel, I really want to talk about all of the things that I've learned throughout the years on specifically WordPress, Elementor, um, and just the the last thing I want to say here. I'm probably going to say it in many videos because I, I just believe this entirely. The amount of things that you can do on WordPress is like incredible. Um, you know, it's not like a custom build or anything like that, that you're, you know, going and making like a custom web app or anything using like some sort of, you know, actual software language or whatever. But it's just, I, I love WordPress for these reasons, because there's so many ways to do different things. And you pretty much accomplish basically whatever you want, if you're willing to put the time in and energy and uh, just do the research and figure it out. So uh, I'm going to shut up though, because that's the end of this video and I got to go. But thank you guys so much for checking it out. I really hope it helped you. Like I said, uh, any questions or anything, let me know. Please subscribe, like the video if you enjoy the content, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.